In this video, you will learn how to insert Google Drawings in your Google document. Google Drawing is another application of Google Suite and you can access this if you want to create a drawing from this new and inside new if you click on more you will find this Google Drawings. So it's just another application but in this video we are going to see how we can insert Google Drawing directly into our Google document. So this is one drawing which I have created using this Google Drawing application and I have stored this uh, on my Google Drive and this is a blank document where I want to show you how you can insert that drawing inside your document. So there are two ways. So when you click on insert drawing, there are two ways to insert a drawing. You have the ability to create a new drawing from scratch inside your document or you can insert a drawing from your drive. And the difference is that if you insert a drawing from your drive, then you have the ability to update, to link it to the source and then to update whenever you want. So first I will show you how you can link a drawing from your Google Drive. So I will click on uh, from Drive and I will take that example drawing and I will select this. And now I have two options, whether I want to link to the source if I have the intention and I think that at some stage I might be updating that drawing, then I should use this option. And if you have no intention to update, then you can use this insert unlinked. So I will first show you how you can uh, insert with a link to the source. So I select this and I insert. And now if I click on this drawing, on the right hand side, if I click on this little uh, arrow shape thing, I have these options. I can unlink it from the source or I can open the source and modify the drawing. So let's say I open the source and now, and now this drawing window will open and I have a canvas and this checkered means that my background is transparent. There is no background to this. And now let's say I update the color of this uh, start block. So what I would do, I will go here and I just change this color. And this is my document. If I open my document, now I got this option of update. It recognizes that someone has updated the drawing uh, from this version. So I have the ability to update. So if I update, my drawing will be updated. So this is one way of inserting a drawing in your Google document. The other way is of course, if you want to uh, create a drawing from scratch. So I will just delete this and now I show you the other option, insert drawing and this time a new drawing. And here you can create a drawing and in this drawing you have the ability to use uh, a lot of shapes and with these shapes you can create flow charts you can create organizational charts for your educational videos or for uh, your exercises for your students so these type of things you can uh, use with this if you are a teacher and then you have a lot of arrows available and call outs and some other a mathematical equation you can also show. So you can create a lot of things. So let's say I use uh, this rectangle and now I can draw a rectangle here. Now I can change the colors. So let's say I change color to this one and now I just show you another uh, shape. Let's say we take this heart sign or just take this smiley face. I can draw this and then I can also change the color. So this way you can uh, draw many things in this drawing. And let's say I show you some other options. So these are some line and arrow options. This curve is very important. You can draw, for example, any mountain range, something like this. My drawing is terrible, but uh, you can practice. And if your drawing is good, you can do a lot of things. And if you double click, it will end here. Then you can, of course, uh, color this as well if you want. So this is how, uh, this is the second option. And this is another option. You can quickly create some interesting drawings inside your Google document. So these are the two methods in which you can create Google drawings, save and close. So one more thing I would like to show you, uh, for example, I insert a drawing first, not image, but the drawing and I say new drawing. And inside the drawing, if I insert image and then I click on search, now here you can see results shown are labeled for commercial reuse with modifications. So this is very important that now you can get some images, uh, whatever results you will get, uh, you can use those results for your commercial uh, purpose uh, with modifications as it says. And you can read uh, further about this. 
but this is a very powerful thing to get some images quickly so let's say i put something here like uh, flow chart or something and enter so now you can have all these images available so you can use this and uh, it's a quick way of inserting images into your drawings and then that drawing into your google document so these were few things about google drawings